Hey everyone, this is Paul from Intro to Data Science at Rice University, and some of you guys in the lab were getting confused about the difference between loc and iloc here in Pandas. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain this difference. Now, really, the gist of it is loc is looking up an item based on its location. So you provide an index, and it'll look up based on that index. iloc is looking at based on the index's location. So what you provide is the location of the index. It's doing an extra step, and then it finds it in the table. Now, most of the time, this distinction won't be that big of a deal, but when your indices are out of order, that's when you can get in trouble. And that's why I like using loc pretty much all the time unless I'm forced to. So to give an example, this here is a very basic data frame containing some of the rides from Six Flags Over Texas, where you should totally go if you get a chance. And if we print them, what you're gonna see is we have the name of the ride, the number of inversions, the number of times it goes upside down, its top speed in miles per hour, and its height in feet. Now, one of the things to notice is that I never specified this index column. This is generated automatically. This is done by default. You can specify one here when you create the data frame if you want, but most of the time it's fine if it generates this on its own. Now, let's go ahead and use our loc and iloc. So let me go ahead and print df.loc of two. And sure enough, what this is doing is finding the row in this table where the index is equal to two. And from here, we can then further index it if we wanted to say, get the top speed in miles per hour. This will get the top speed in miles per hour of that entry that we've indexed. Sure enough, Batman goes 50 miles an hour, but let's just get the entry for now. And if we do print df.iloc of two, we get the exact same thing. It's getting the index at the second location and then looking it up based on that. So right now it doesn't seem like there's that much of a difference. But what happens when we change the table? Let's say we go ahead and we sort it based on the top speed. So what I'm gonna do is my data frame is gonna be pandas.dataframe of this dictionary, but I'm gonna go ahead and sort the values and I'm gonna say by, and now I provide the column top speed in miles per hour. So now, this is what my data frame looks like. Notice how the indexes have changed order because they stay with each entry. So Batman, which was previously in the second position is now up, up here. Titan, which is the fastest because it's sorted the speed from lowest to highest. It was originally specified first, but now it is last in the table because it is the fastest. So that's why this index column is now out of order. This is assigned when the table is created and then we then sort it after. So what happens to our loc and iloc? Well, df.loc is once again looking for that entry with index two. So it's gonna grab this entry. So this hasn't changed. But df.iloc actually has changed. And the reason is the location of index two has now become this entry. It's going, remember it starts at zero, at zero indexed. So what it's doing is it's saying, looking just directly at the location of the table, zero, one, two, oh, that's this row in the table. So it's actually ignoring the actual index itself and it's looking at its position in the table or its actual location. Now, most of the time, this is not what you want because what you care about is the entry in the table and how they're related, not its actual position in the table. Most of the time, you care about the relationship between the data points, not you know where it is in terms of its location in the table because you could always add new rows, delete stuff, filter stuff, it gets confusing. This is why I prefer using loc. This is doing an extra step. What this is basically doing is this is doing a location on an index lookup. So what this is doing is df.loc of df.index at two. This is really the same exact thing. And sure enough, if I print it, you'll see that both of these are the same. And if I change them, they will both change as well. So this is why it can be really confusing because loc is actually looking up that index and iloc is looking up the position of that index. So that's kind of the, the, the difference. And once again, don't get confused. Like I said, I prefer using loc for this reason, but if you need to use iloc, you can. Um, sometimes if you wanna get, say, the minimum or maximum, you can use iloc. So if I wanted to, say, get the, the slowest ride when I've sorted it, iloc of zero is going to get this first element regardless of what the location is. And the fastest, I can actually index it from the rear, so index it at the from the end of the table, this will actually get the fastest. So there are times you may want to use iloc, but just remember what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get a specific entry where the location of that entry has nothing to do with the table? That's where loc is. 
Or do you want to find some place where the order of the table actually matters, like the first or last entry? Well, that's where iLook matters, especially if you've gone ahead and sorted it. So hopefully this video has sorted out the difference between Loke and iLook. And if you have any questions, you can either come to my office hours or you can let me know in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube or you're not in Intro to Data Science. So hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.